Hello, we have a conductor sitting in a magnetic field. If we pass a current through the conductor, the conductor will experience a magnetic force. You can see it happening in this demonstration here. When the current is passed through the rod, you can see the rod being kicked towards the left. That's due to the magnetic force it's experiencing. Well, people have already figured out all the rules governing this uh, magnetic force. And it goes like this. So if the magnetic flux density is B, and the conductor is carrying a current I, and the length of the rod, or rather the length of the rod that's in the magnetic field is L, then the magnitude of the magnetic force is simply B I L. So it's just these three terms. The larger the magnetic field strength, the larger the current, the longer the rod, the larger the magnetic force. Now this is if the rod is placed exactly perpendicular to the magnetic field. If the rod is placed exactly parallel to the magnetic field, then the rod will experience zero magnetic force. So the orientation of the conductor with respect to the direction of the magnetic field matters. So what if the conductor is placed not exactly perpendicular nor parallel to the magnetic field, like the case shown here. Then we'll play our trump card. We resolve the magnetic field into a component perpendicular to the rod and a component parallel to the rod. So the component that's perpendicular to the rod will be B sine theta. If theta is the angle between the conductor and the magnetic field. We can then calculate the magnetic force using BIL, but remember to sub in B sine theta because we want the components that's perpendicular to the conductor. And you end up with BIL sine theta. I'll always do a quick check. So if it's BIL sine theta, then when theta is zero degrees, the magnetic force should be zero. Is it true? So when the angle theta is zero, the magnetic field ends up being parallel to the conductor. So the magnetic force will be zero. So yeah, it's correct. It's BIL sine theta. Sometimes we'll make you work with the other angle, this angle phi here. Same thing, you figure out the components of our magnetic field that's perpendicular to the rod. So this time around, it's going to be B cosine phi. And the magnetic force will be BIL cosine phi. As usual, do a quick check. The expression is saying that if phi is zero, I'm going to end up with BIL. So when phi is zero, the magnetic field will end up being perpendicular to the rod. And yes, I do end up with BIL being the magnetic force. So we are done with the magnitude of the force. What about the direction? For the direction, we need to use Fleming's left hand rule, like this one here. Actually, this is my hand. I guess nobody has a photograph of Fleming's left hand. So you gotta make do with my left hand. So what you do is you do the hand pistol, and then your middle finger will be the trigger finger. So the thumb, the index, and the middle finger are all perpendicular to one another. You're going to point your thumb in the direction of the magnetic force. You're going to point your index finger in the direction of the magnetic field. And you're going to point your middle finger in the direction of current. And it all comes together very well because you point the hand pistol and then you shout FBI! Okay, try this one here. Try to apply the Fleming's left hand onto this scenario. When the magnetic field is into the page, the current is upward. What is the direction of the magnetic force experienced by this rod? Pause the video if you need more time. If not, I'm going to review the answer now. Ta-da! Eh, why does it look so vulgar? But anyway, so first thing I do usually is to point my index finger in the direction of the magnetic field. So point into the screen. Then I got to rotate my middle finger until it's pointing upward. So my thumb is now pointing leftward. So that's the direction of the magnetic force. Okay, try this one now. Left to magnetic field, currents coming out of the screen. Pause the video to buy yourself some time. If not, I'll review the answer now. Ta-da! So index finger leftward. Then rotate your hand until your middle finger is pointing out of the screen. The thumb is pointing downward, so that's the direction of the magnetic force. Let's try one more. Magnetic field is downward, current is leftward. What's the direction of the magnetic force? You ready for the answer? Ta-da! So what I do is I'll point my index finger in the direction of the magnetic field first. And I got to rotate my hand until my middle finger is pointing leftward. So the thumb is pointing out of the screen. So the magnetic force experienced by this conductor will be pointing out of the screen. Let's try one last one. So how is your left hand coming along? Ready for the answer? So this rod will experience no magnetic force because the magnetic field is into the screen. The current is coming out of the screen. They are parallel to each other. So when they are parallel, there's no magnetic force. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!